Peace and love, family. Welcome to another episode of Lala Speaks. On this episode, I have named this episode The Art of War. And the reason why I have named it this is because I just want to, it's a lot, a lot of controversy about this new trend that has been, that has hit social media, has hit our people. And it's, you know, I know you guys probably heard about it, but I'm going to go into something else real quick. So, as many as you know, first these people, they gave us, you know, the onesie and they gave us, you know, the body suits for the babies and the ladies. And, you know what I'm saying? We we was digging that. We love the body suits, right, ladies? And um, then they gave us, you know, the cat suits and they gave us the rompers, the rump rompers, you know. And I like the way that my rump looks in a romper. How about you ladies? You you like the way that y'all rump looking a romper? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? I know the fellas be digging that too. So now they have given us a new trend for the males. They gave us a rump romper for the men. <laughs> yes, lady, they have given us, you know, they gave they have given our guys a romper. So there's a lot of controversy over these rompers. And, you know, my question to you guys, fellas, ladies, you know, is it gay or not gay? More PC? Is it masculine or not? You know, what do you think? Do you think that it should only be worn by the ladies or do you think that it's something that men can rock too? Now, I've seen a couple of these rompers and they look all right. You know what I'm saying? Like, they kind of, some of them put me in the mind of a coverall. But as y'all know, men have been wearing coveralls and overalls for a very long time now. And a coverall, as well as overalls, are totally different from a romper. A romper is to insinuate your, you know, your rump. So, and it draws attention to your rump. So, <laughs> I want to know, like, what do you guys think about this new trend? And now, personally, people, you know, the conscious people, awakened people, like to say, oh, it's just another distraction to take our minds off of what the, what's really going on is the war. Uh, what war are you guys talking about? Is, you know, are you talking about a physical war? Because I don't really see us being attacked physically, you know, besides the race soldiers, the police that's, you know, shooting us down in the street like we're dogs. But, you know, I definitely see a mental and a spiritual war going on. And these rompers are a part of it. So I want to know, like, you know, and even some, you know, people who don't proclaim to be conscious or awake, and, you know, they have a problem with the rompers too. And I get it. And as we all should, it's because it's like we create the fashion trends. They present it to us, but we make it pop. So if we, people love to use that excuse, oh, it's just fashion. How you gonna uh, be in this industry and say that you like fashion or that you're a model, but you can't accept, you know, different trends that come in. That's that open-minded propaganda programming bullshit. Stop it. Whatever we do, whatever we decide to make hot, either we're going to make it hot or it's not going to be hot, period. If we're not buying it, if we're not buying into it, they are not going to sell it. They're selling it to us. Us. People of this skin tone. Melanated black people more, whatever you consider yourself. They're selling it to you. So if you buy into the propaganda, if you make it hot, then it's going to be hot. And if not, then it's not, period. It's going to go away. It's going to be a distant memory. So what are you teaching your sons? Fellas, what are you teaching your sons? Uh, men who don't have children yet. What type of image are you leaving for your children, that for your, your future sons, or for your little brother, or your little cousins, or your nephews that's watching you? That it's okay to dress like a woman? I really want to know. These are questions that I really want to know. We are saying, like, we're, we're complaining about the problems that's going on on the news and the world, on social media, the problems that's going on with the system, but we are not doing anything to change it. When are we going to start being the change that we want to see? When are we going to start countering the little attacks that's being placed in front of us? This is a blatant attack on our black males 
manhood, having them dressing like women. And if you don't see that, something is wrong with you. This is an attack on their mind. This is not a physical war. This is a mental war. This is a spiritual war. They don't have to fight you physically because they take the mind, they take the people. And they're using women to do it. And women are the main ones talking about a distraction. It's not a distraction. It's a strategy. They're playing chess while you're playing checkers. You worried about getting ready for a physical war when it's not one. You can't beat these people. You don't have an army. You don't have a military. You don't have nothing. So what are you going to beat them with? You're going to send your people out there to get slaughtered even more? We, this is a financial, this is a financial war. This is a spiritual war. This is a mental war. Educate our children. Be proactive. Being proactive is the uh, prevention of everything that's going on with our people right now. We have to start changing the mind of our children to change the future of what we are going through. To change this system. To start to live beyond this system. But if you don't understand that, our people are going to continue to suffer. Stop thinking that we have to fight physically. And stop playing checkers and start playing chess. They're, they're four, five, six is health. In some instances, they 10 steps ahead of us. So you have to get it together and start thinking strategically and stop thinking that everything is about physical because it's not. It's not a physical thing. It might be physical for these low level white supremacists, but for these high level white supremacists, it's all about capturing the minds of these people and keeping it enslaved. And you know, our people have too much confidence. They have too much trust, too much dependence on, the, on their capturers. We are still a captured people. People love saying, oh, our people were slaves, our people were slaves. This is shit that they're teaching our children in school. Institution, institutional hate. Our, our people was not slaves. They were prisoners of war who was forced into enslavement. When you accept the fact that you were a slave, then you stay a slave. You are enslaved. You are right now voluntarily being a slave by not wanting to break free of what's going on or change your circumstances. You have every opportunity. There's no reason for anybody to not know what's going on in the world right now. Not know that they poison in the food, poison in the water, and doing all other types of programming. There's no reason for you not to know that when they put it on the internet. It's on Google, it's in the books, it's in the movies, it's in the kids' cartoons, and y'all turn a blind eye to all this nonsense, but you want to argue over religion, you want to argue over racial status, you want to argue about everything else that don't is that, that's not going to change anything. You're not investing in your children's futures, you're not trying to change the way of they thinking, you're not trying to do anything. What is nation building? Y'all talking about polygamy? Y'all talking about... Uh, what was that when a woman has more husbands, more than one husband? All y'all talking about all that stuff, but it's not, it's for the wrong reasons. It's not to build financially. It's not to build the mind of the children. It's all physical and sexual with a lot of y'all. And at the end of the day, where it needs to be a business so you can program the minds of your children away from what white supremacy is programming it into, which is to just be a worker and a low level slave that's it that's all we have so much money to be made in the hood and nobody can recognize the opportunities or they can recognize the job they don't know how to recognize the opportunity to build a business but to find a job everybody want to be a boss but they don't know how to be a boss it's like come on people do you, when you see other children out here, do your heart bleed for them? Do you want to say, pull this little young sister to the side and say you can be better than that? Pull this little young brother to the side and say, stop talking like that. Uh, pull your pants up. Uh, playing on women ain't cool. Uh, young sister, take that weave out your hair. That don't make you look better than nobody. That don't make you better than nobody. Smile sometimes. Wearing a mug all the time don't make you pretty. 
You do, do you ever want to do that? When you see a child out here hungry, do you ever want to feed them? When you see a child out here by themselves, do you ever wonder where their parents are? Or do you just say, that's not my child, and keep it pushing? That's a part of nation building. If you don't care about other people's children, children that look like you, that look like your child, then how are you building a nation? How are you making a difference? Because these same children are going to grow up with your children and it's going to affect, going to cross paths with your children. It's going to affect how they're viewed, how they're treated. It might even affect your child's life directly. And you don't even understand that. You don't see it. You turn a blind eye to so many things, but the first thing people want to holler is war. The war is on your mind. The war is on your mind, on your children's mind, and they have it. And until you can realize that, you will never get it back. Peace. That is all I speaks. The art of war.